Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a read for you all, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, North Node. Come on in, take what resonates with the rest. If you guys are interested in getting your own personal love reading, please do reach out via email as the information will be in the description box below. And thank you guys so much for your love and support. I really do appreciate it. And again, be sure to support me on both platforms, okay? On this Virgo channel and my other channel, which gives you all types of readings, all signs, collective reads, prophetic messages, and things of that nature. So go ahead and catch up on both platforms, again, with Her Stars Aligned and the Priestess of Reason. All right, with that being said, we're going to get into the reading. But before I do so, I am going to tell you that I heard that someone is either checking their boss, Maddie, Someone's name could be Maddie or Madison. Anyway, someone's checking into their, their BMI, their body mass index. Someone could be toning up but wanting to increase their, their, um, their intake with certain foods that will bulk them up a little bit. Whether you're masculine or feminine, someone wants to get thick but wants to do it the natural way without going under the knife, all right? So someone's trying to correlate their um, their weight and make sure that they're they're going to be gaining weight or starting the process of gaining weight so that they can be plump or fit in all the right places. Um, hopefully that journey goes well for you, but that's what I'm getting here. What's going on for Virgo? What is it that Virgo needs to know? All stupid comments will be blocked. And deleted so watch how you're talking in the comment section keep it cute okay thank you so we have all that glitters imagine the number 16 as well as the number 20 could be significant we have here and now number 32 whoops time to go someone does not want to leave you see how that ripped just a little bit more. Someone does not want to leave here. Someone is about to be called out or, I don't know why I'm here under review or will be reviewed. Um, someone's gonna check in to see if whatever this, this lying person was hiding or what they were up to or putting on some type of facade about, whoever this false, false, whoever this false person was, someone's going to be shown up today, okay? I'm going to tap into what this, all that glitters is, but I do see here that you are starting to see the bigger picture or something is going to make sense to you. Before we go into that, I'm going to tap into what this, um, all that glitters was. Something's being delayed or someone here has a hard time coming forward with telling you something in regards to a relationship or situation. Hmm. Someone went against God's law to be with the wrong person. This is who they moved in with or who they went towards. But someone here is hung up over you. Someone is still in love with you. So it looks like this person, whoever they are or you are, whether you've seen them last week, last month, last year, this person still feels the same way but went in the wrong direction to see what that was like. And obviously the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay. Let's see what else is showing up. We have palm tree. So you're doing really well for yourself. You're trying to find security. I do see that you've grown on a personal level and you're learning to, to be flexible in your life. You know, learning new things, meeting new people, you know, branching out to network, things of that nature. You will be meeting and conversing with people, getting acquainted, building friendships, and things of that nature as well. But you will always also 
be finding out about someone here that is getting married or is married. Someone here from your past sees you at face value and wants to be real with you about the way that they feel and what they've um, what they've done. Okay. Let's see what else is going on here. So spirit is saying to walk away, leave the unhealthy situation and enjoy the doors that will open for you as a result. We also have affirmations. So this says to lift up your thoughts and energy and to attract what you desire. Use positive affirmations in order to heal. Okay. Show me more of what spirit wants you to know at this time. What is the advice from your divine angels? So, look, a year from now, a year from now, you will not reconsider something between you and someone, whether this is a family member, or a child's or mother's uh, whether it's a baby mother or father or a co-worker, you will not be reconsidering. You will be getting help to go in the right direction to have big, happy changes, okay? I'm hearing that it is not the right time um, for something, but Spirit is saying that you're ready anyways. You're ready to embark on these big, happy changes with the help of others. I'm also seeing that there's something better, okay? Whoever this person is, or even if they change, there is something better for you. Um, I'm hearing that it is very likely for you to be in a whole different situation with someone that you're gonna argue with versus being with someone that is always going to um, block you from your true destiny of falling in love with your true twin flame or counterpart. Someone here is missing you. What else for my Virgos? Something is coming in very soon. You will get someone that wants to profess their loyalty for you or wants to show you how loyal they can be. But it looks like you need to get out of your fearful energy to allow something to flow. But there's new love coming in. I don't feel like this person is a soulmate. They could be a twin flame though. see what's going on here so first cards coming out is survivor number 33 so you survived you know being in a situation where you could have been struggling with your finances your home dynamic your family or whatever the case may be with a baby mom or a baby daddy you could have moved out from a home that you shared with this person I'm also seeing that you could have felt like you were caught in the middle because this person that you were dealing with, or this could be you, this person uh, could have doubted the paternity of your child that you share between each other. I'm also seeing overlooked. So someone here could have been overlooked as an F boy or an F girl is what I'm seeing here. I'm hearing that you needed to rely on or needed help from your the government to provide for your, your family is what I'm seeing here. And I do see here also, Virgo, that someone brought a lot of drama or was tempted to put you into a situation where you were acting off of, re uh, I was gonna say resources, but impulse is here. Someone could have uh, set a trap for you to be in a suicide mission type of energy. Yeah, this is someone that is toxic to you. This could be a friend or family member. What else is here for Virgo? What is it that Virgo needs to know currently at this time? So we have mature man in reverse. Whoever this mature man is, they've been kicked out of a home and trying to make it because <laughs> it, it seems like this person is trying to make it because that's all they have left. Someone could be reaching out to a main male that's at a distance from them, but not too far away to loan them some money, but this person may not have enough money to loan them, or <laughs> this person doesn't even want 
this masculine to stay there. Okay. Someone lacks change within themselves. I can't make this up. Someone lacks change within themselves here, putting themselves in positions that they don't need to be in. I'm also getting that someone could, here could have invested wrong or gambled their money away here, okay? I'm also seeing that um, there are two people, there's a couple and a male that could be co-workers or good, really good friends that, okay, so it looks like someone that is a couple, whoever this, uh, main male is they're going to be asking they're going to be asking something but it doesn't seem clear to me yeah someone's going to be getting kicked out of a home or not getting the opportunity to stay somewhere that they thought they would be able to because what seems to be temporary will affect of a child or a family dynamic. Someone has to keep their job in order to take care of a child because that's their only source of income here. Hmm. Someone could be born on September 5th, 9th, or the 20th. I want to pull my smaller deck to see if I can get any messages from that. What's going on with my Virgo? What is it that Virgo needs to know? So we have good news that's showing up. Someone could be getting out of prison. Someone's not too happy about this court situation or something going on outside of court because someone's in a romantic relationship. So someone could be expecting their um, child's mother or father, or this could be uh, someone outside of your, um, your situation here. We have main person. There is a feminine energy that's in reverse. Someone here may be losing a child or um, they could have a grown child that they don't get along with because of um, this child not doing anything that's beneficial to allowing their life to be... Someone's not doing anything with their life. Someone's like basically just roaming here. Someone has no structure or guidance. There's a main feminine energy that's not allowing a child to see their father or mother here. Someone could be born on the 14th, the 18th here, as well as the second. Hmm. Or your child's born on the 18th. I'm also seeing a long way. So someone may need to travel or finds it um, to be a long process to get through to a, a lady that's not so good here. It seems like you have to prove to this good this this lady, this good lady in reverse, that you are doing all that you can to stay out of the court system and to provide for a child. Someone's gonna be get, uh, giving this person some money showing up unexpectedly, but someone's not gonna be home. I'm getting here that whoever this person is that's in a romantic relationship, this person doesn't want this masculine energy to introduce or to be around this baby mother or baby father. I'm hearing that whoever this person is that's in a relationship, 
is fending for their partner, saying that they're good people, you would never um, do anything to be spiteful or whatever, but you just want to be happy and you want this person to be happy, which is what I'm seeing here. for Virgo. So we have Forever Young. So there's a song of youthful playfulness in your energy, Virgo. I'm also seeing best friend. So friendship is vital to your romance. Feelings deepen and blossom as well here. But someone will be friend zone. Someone does not want to ruin a relationship that they already have established in the friendship energy. Um, the, the friendship energy. So someone's love language is, um, you know, allowing someone's actions to speak for itself. So actions speak louder than words. You know, you're, you're someone here that, that definitely relies on, you know, their actions rather than words. You may have gone through something where someone has promised you a lot and um, they didn't come through or this is just something that you have always lived by, is actions. All right, let's see what else is going on. For Virgo. Okay, so we have victim mentality, intuition and manifestation. What else do we have for Virgo at this time? What is it that Virgo needs to know? Wow, so we have new supportive connections, and then we have true love, okay? So it looks like whoever this new person is, or someone that you're dealing with, you would rather keep it safe or play it safe to be friends with this person rather than taking it to the next level. You're just afraid that everything will go wrong um, when you change the dynamic of the relationship. Like I said, playing it safe. Some of you need to step out of playing it safe and love someone. But it's like you're not allowing yourself to do this because you're in this victim mentality, because you've been done wrong. You have a lot of unresolved feelings uh, in regards to the past, which makes it hard for you to manifest um, and move forward, okay? So spirit is going to be here to see you through that. Okay, so everything that you thought you lost, you will be gaining, okay? Someone could be experiencing homelessness. I'm also getting uh, relaxation number 69 with eternal love. I'm getting here that you're cool on relationships, especially long-term ones. You're just looking to see what connections you could make here, okay? Someone is no longer going to be homeless. Um, I see homeless in reverse, but I do feel like you could be uh, getting away from someone that you thought was a friend because they could have tried to rob you or uh, you made accusations or they made accusations when it came to uh, missing items or things of that nature. What else is here for this friendship in reverse? I'm getting memory. This could have been a long time friend. I'm getting you have some evidence of someone trying to curse your your um, your life so that you won't have the blessings that you have received or will receive. I'm getting this person did not succeed because here you are being successful and victorious here. So they didn't physically take anything. They tried to take your destiny and tried to uh, curse your your. Um, your energy to thrive, okay? So we have communication. I'm hearing that someone is trying to communicate through you or to you. This could be your ancestors, your guides. What else is showing up here for Virgo? Okay, so we have guarded vulnerability. Someone here is guarded about being empowered to drop their ego and pride to transform here is what I'm getting. So 
So I got comfort zone. Someone is clinging on to their self node. Um, I'm also getting divine timing is going to allow you to remember um, what someone has done while you were with them in the soul tie connection. I see that you are making some, some breakthrough or uh, going through the challenges that you need to go through to um, see that this person is a stalemate connection. Whoever this person is has earth and element in their chart. Show me more. Okay, so we do have accuses you of harmful intent to throw others off their guilty sin. So someone knows that they're guilty of something but trying to put it on you as if it's your fault. Someone needs to be cutting ties with their ex and moving on. Okay. I'm also seeing knight in shining armor, toxic love with controlling tendencies. So someone here that thinks that you're toxic or vice versa. Someone needs to move on with their life and say goodbye to the past. What else am I getting here? So we have flashy, someone showing off, but there's nothing in the bank, okay? Someone's a conspiracy theorist. Someone wants you to go down the rabbit hole to, to, to trap you or to keep you stuck. So we have passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. We also have retreat. It's time for you to disconnect from the world. What else is here for Virgo? Learn, uh, forgiving and learning. So as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present. You show me more for Virgo. We have purity. So you are covered or protected from any evil forces. If you feel like you need to do any purifications, then you should. We have protection in reverse. Someone could be vulnerable to spell work or something like that. Someone needs to get away. In order to feel relaxed, you need to get away from some type of uh, energetic force. Okay, anything that, th that doesn't keep you grounded or um, successful or fruitful, you need to get away from it to grab a whole bunch of flow, okay? I'm also seeing thriving, so you're thriving here. You'll be okay as long as you know the truth, but there's something here that you may be unhappy with, and maybe it's your journey yeah, you feel like you're hesitant or something is not going forward, like um, you're not getting any good energy to having inner peace. Hmm. This is definitely energy work. All right, let's see what's going on here. Don't allow anyone to come into your energy to mess that up. Someone here needs to prove that they're not a false masculine, but someone is a scary-ass bitch. We have rock the boat, wishy-washy energy. Someone here that's in and out. Someone could see that you're like this. Someone could have a criminal record, and you didn't even know that. I'm also getting loner. For some of you here, this may be the best thing for you is to stick to yourself. 
Someone here that's a karmic lover indulges in dark, possessive things and energy. Someone thinks that this is the right way to live. Okay? Someone here is trying to get over the issues with their partner. So um, they're exploring options or they don't want to is what they're saying. Someone here is, isn't interested or could be on the fence about what this person is saying. This could be the false masculine that's coming into your energy. I feel good knowing that I can trust you. Okay, so we have entertainment, nightlife. Someone could work as a um, bottle girl or a dancer, a comedian, a rapper, whatever the case may be here. Someone needs approval or gets approval out of doing things that could be um, detrimental to them. We have potential suitor. I have no urge to sleep with you. I just want to learn who you are. So whoever this new person is, they just want to get to know your mind. Whoever this person is, they could have a, um, a name that starts with I or someone's initials could be IB or BI. Yep. Yeah. This is someone here that likes to follow routine. Someone's gambling in their life. Someone could be doing some type of molestation, prostitution, or degrading energies here. I don't know if this is your new person or past person, but someone is indulging in the worst of things right now. Could be this karmic here. Someone could be allowing their... Uh, their uh, grandparents to watch their children, or it could be family time. I'm hearing that your grandparents, if they are deceased, this th these people are blocking your children from entering any karmic energies in their in their lifetime here. I'm also getting young mind phase, grow the f up. Okay, so we do have change, minor setback for a major comeback here. We also have DUI, drunk, new endeavor or opportunity, a room or space. Someone could be uh, renting out a room to or an office space to conduct business here. This could be someone that doesn't have that much experience in the business world, so you could be bouncing ideas off of people that are in the industry of business to give you some pointers or something like that. You know what's funny? This victim card, this intuition energy, is not your energy. This is someone that is um, doing mirror magic and placing you in that energy, but that's not you, okay? You may be someone that thinks a lot, but however, you, you never fold under pressure unless you feel like something is too much. And if it's just easy for you to be, you know, in this victimization energy and not manifesting or having trouble manifesting, that's definitely some energy where the Virgos are usually the ones to, to manifest. Someone leaked some type of government information about you. I'm also seeing generous visits from your ancestors to protect you. Someone will be moving out into a new apartment where they will be in a new circle of people or relationships here. I'm also getting karmic praise on DM's weaknesses, dark portal to stay balanced spiritually. Yeah, someone here is in the middle of either getting married or divorced, okay? But someone wants to know that even if they are married or divorced, that something is going to be in their name something with a physical property will be in their name so that if anything happens or anything goes wrong they will be able to claim it so knowledge is power is what spirit is saying here all right let's see what we can find out in the tarot what do we need to know first card jumping out here it is queen of wands you got a jealous you know what, in your energy field right now, she is definitely someone that's very jealous. 
She's constantly, um, you know, told that you remind, that they remind you of a person that your person used to date, which is you, Virgo. Okay? And this, this person hates it. Yeah? Or that you sound like them or something like that here, Virgo. Whoever this person is, they want to call you. They want to call you. Don't listen to this person's voice because whatever it is that they're saying, this is another manipulation to, to um, keep you spellbound so that you'll be stuck. I'm also hearing something about the third world country. We have the three of wands in reverse. Someone wants to keep you stuck and stagnant and also frustrated here. Ten of Swords, you're getting over whatever it is that they're trying to do to you, and they will receive bad karma here over and over. Okay, so we have the Three of Wands. You're moving forward successfully and detaching from the, these demonic um, physical forming energies here. Yeah, you're moving forward to catch new vibes, new energies new beginnings, fresh starts, things of that nature here. All right, Virgos. So that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you're interested in um, getting a reading of your own or you would like to find out more on my other channel because I do have other collective reads that may sometimes piggyback off of the reads that I do over here. So head on over there to subscribe as well. And yeah. I'll see you in the next one.